Hey guys, it's Planet Discus Fish Tank. This week I'm going to show you how to drill your tanks to be able to install an overflow. And there's two advantages for installing an overflow. Uh, number one, it allows you to move all your equipment out of your main tank and into a separate sump. And number two, an overflow makes water changes much easier. You don't have to drain your tank. You can just put water directly on the tank or in the tank and any excess water can be routed into, into your drain. An overflow also allows you to automate your water changing system either through the drip method or you can use a, a pump on a timer. So before I show you the drilling I want to give status and an update on the parasite treatment of my 240 gallon as well as my 75 gallon. So both tanks finished the six day treatment of API General Cure and so on the 75 gallon, I went ahead and treated with an antibiotic called Maricin 2 uh, to kill any leftover infections. So I decided to do just the one tank, the 75 gallon. So the Maricin 2 treats for gram-negative bacteria. And the bacteria in your biomedia, the beneficial bacteria, are also gram-negative. And so we expect that some of that bacteria will die off during this treatment. And so to account for that, I've prepared uh, another filter, another hang on back filter that I'm currently seeding. And I'm going to measure the water parameters daily to make sure there are no uh, large ammonia or nitrite spikes. And if I do see uh, some of those spikes, I can go ahead and do a water change and maybe cut back on the medication and reinstall the, the new filter. So back to drilling. Quick story. Um, so I've drilled over a dozen tanks in my fish room, but my first time didn't really go so well. I had a 55 gallon tank, planted tank, about five years ago. Oh, I'll show you that over here, or no, I'll show you that over here. And, and so, you know, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and I felt I was ready to, to move into a, a sump filter and and so I went ahead and ordered the kit for, for drilling the drill bits and, um, and the electric drill. And so I emptied the 55 gallon tank and I proceeded to drill the glass. And I got about halfway through and next thing you know, it shattered into a million pieces, uh, the, the, the front glass of, of the 55 gallon. And as I was cleaning, uh, all the million pieces of, of glass, I saw a sticker on the bottom panel that says, uh, warning, tempered glass, do not drill. So that was my really first lesson into tempered glass. And so here I'm going to show you too the difference between tempered glass and, and regular glass. So in this setup, I have two pieces of glass. On the left is normal glass and on the right side is a tempered glass. And behind the glass I have an iPad. Um, an iPad emits polarized light so that when you put on polarized sunglasses you can see the effects of the tempered glass. So here's a pair of polarized sunglasses from Walmart and so if you put the iPad behind the normal glass there's no effect on light. And when I move the iPad behind the tempered glass And then we look through the polarized sunglasses. You can see black streaks through the light. So that's a sign uh, that it is a uh, tempered glass. This piece of glass on the right is actually from the 55 gallon that I, that I shattered. So definitely we know that that is tempered glass and it's proven with the, the streaks as well. So now that we verify that the 75 gallon does not have tempered glass and it has normal glass, I'm going to begin to set it up for drilling the overflow. And I decided to put the overflow on the back right side, the back right edge. So here I'm placing the drill guide, it's a piece of wood with 
a hole cut out into it. It's about an inch and three quarters. I have my safety goggles. I have an electric drill. And here I've placed a towel underneath the hole to be cut. And here is a TomTom -tom water pump so I can keep the drill bit cool. And those are my drill bits. That is a diamond coated tip, 45 millimeters in diameter, which is equivalent to about one and three quarters inch diameter. And on the left here, that is my pitcher of water. Again, that is going to help cool the, the drill bit and as well as the glass. I have my blue tape, my tape measure. And I'm all set. Put on my safety goggles. Make sure to measure. Uh, center on the right edge. And I put a piece of blue tape to keep the drill from slipping and sliding. I've also clamped the guide to hold it in place while I drill. And here is a drill bit. Again, it's 45 millimeters diameter, about an inch and three quarters. And it's got a diamond coated tip to be able to cut through the glass. And now I'm setting up the TomTom -tom water pump. I've also installed an adjustable valve at the end of the tubing to control the flow. And all we really need is a couple drips per second to provide enough water flow. And here we go. I hold the drill vertical and I start to drill. So once I've dug into the glass, I go ahead and remove the guide. That way I can see exactly how deep I'm drilling. And so I continue to drill for another, you know, five to ten minutes, depending on how sharp your drill bit is. This is a brand new drill bit. So it took me about five minutes to, to get through the quarter inch thick glass. Here is the uh, bulkhead I got from Amazon. I have all the links of this equipment below. But this is a one inch wide bulkhead. You screw it on, it's got a rubber gasket to keep it watertight. And I go ahead and tighten it with a wrench. So there you have it. Tanks drilled for the overflow and it's ready to be aquascaped. And so this is gonna be a planted Dutch aquarium. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.